everybody what's going on so this is the third time I've tried to film this video because I keep messing it up but anyway so the winner of the Dox Lure Company tournament was Enthusiastic Fisherman he came in with a five pound 13 ounce fish and that was awesome that was a really nice fish I believe he caught it on a yum dinger uh, I don't remember the color I think he said it like it was a green pumpkin or something like that um, but I might be wrong on that so the way I was going to do it was I was going to let people the uh, person that won get to pick between or get to pick the uh, colors only. I was going to just give them some frogs, some swim baits, and then these two crappie bluegill baits here. But I got to thinking, well, maybe the winner isn't into crappie and bluegill fishing. So I got to thinking, I've got these three brand new molds that no one's seen before. Plus, I got the bluegill crappie baits. So I figured, why not let the person pick between the five baits? That I've never even shown before. Now these all catch fish. I've actually caught a lot of fish on these two. Actually I haven't caught anything on this one yet. But I lost a few fish on it. So they do get bites. And that is a 2 inch version of the Dox Lure Flat Runner. Now this is a really cool bait. It works great when you split the tail right there. And you just jig it up and down with a cork. It actually works really good. It has a really good action. And they do definitely catch fish. I've had a lot of bites and missed a lot of fish on them. Um, I think mainly because they just weren't really biting. Um, but then, this one here has caught bluegill and bass. And has even caught a crappie. It has caught one small crappie. It was only about maybe that long. It wasn't a very big one, but it was pretty cool to see it caught. I didn't personally catch it. I actually haven't caught a crappie yet this year. My dad caught it. And we didn't even know there was crappie in this pond. We thought there was just crappie in the first pond. But there's actually crappie in the second pond as well. And this here is the bait that caught it. Little one and a half inch Dox Lure Company swim bait. So you guys can see the difference between this two inch and the one and a half inch. Very big difference in size and profile. And it gives it a really good minnow profile. And trust me, when a big bluegill comes after it, it is going to nail it. I almost had to cut off and throw the fish back because it had it so deep in its throat. It was getting engulfed one day out here in my pond. I ended up catching, I think, four or five on it in like 10 minutes, just casting it out into the middle of the pond and reeling it slowly, and they were coming unglued on it. And these are all in all my colors, the white chartreuse, green pumpkin, black, uh, the shark skin gray, and the uh, tomato. And what I like about the tomato color, which is just a red, and the chartreuse is it's not a bold um, solid color like a lot of companies make. It's actually transparent. You guys can see these two baits are more transparent. They're not like super bold color. They're more transparent. And that's what I like about the red and the chartreuse that I make. So there's also white, green pumpkin, black, and gray. The gray is kind of a minnow gray. You guys seen that here. That's what it looks like. So the three bass baits that the enthusiast fisherman will be able to pick from is this one right here. Now I haven't really come up with a name for this one yet. It's a really cool worm. I've actually I actually missed a bass out here in my pond earlier today. I was just messing around uh, after I made some uh, testing out the action and stuff and I actually missed a bass with it. And this is a really good worm. It has a flat side right here which is good for skipping and flipping. I actually was able to skip it around a few times up underneath of a tree limb that comes over the water and I actually was able to skip it underneath there pretty good I got snagged once but you know I'm not very good at skipping sometimes so it looks really good in the water and it's got like a little flat tail right there and it has a really good wacky rig action as well um, I was using kind of a wrong hook but you could definitely tell that it had a really good action I was using an EWG um, worm hook and it's more easier to use with like a circle type hook but wacky rig this thing works awesome as well so next is the 6 inch finesse worm. So this here is a great finesse worm and it actually works awesome also weightless rig just working it like a fluke or a uh, floating worm. It actually has a really cool action and it's something that a lot of people may not do with trick worms. I do it with finesse worms or trick worms and this bait here really does it better. Honestly it does it a little bit better than the actual trick worm does in my opinion because the tail because if you guys can see the mold has that tail a little bit curved. Now some people would think that's a that's a bad thing, but it actually gives that tail kind of a wagging action in the water and it looks really good. 
and I haven't caught anything on it yet. I'm actually getting ready to go out there again with some white and green pumpkin ones and see if I can catch some fish. So, also the biggest bait that I make now, it's actually uh, 8 inches, just like the normal 8 inch paddle tail worm, but this is an 8 inch slam worm. This is called the slammer worm. This is a really big bait. It has a great plastic, and all these baits are made of the same plastic. They have a great plastic, and this one here is actually really good as well. Fished like a trick worm, or a fluke, or floating worm, whatever you want to call it. It actually has sort of the same action as this finesse worm has, and the tail kind of wags as it's going through the water when you're twitching it. And it has a really good snake-like action in the water, and I think it'll catch some big fish if you're on the right body of water. Another thing that works really awesome with this is just a normal Texas rig. If you guys Texas rig this and bump, bounce it off the bottom real slowly, that thing has an awesome action, and it is just an awesome worm in general. I think also on a big shaky head, that one there will work great, and also on a smaller shaky head, this one here will work good as well. I think another thing that is really awesome about this worm here is you can rig it up on shaky heads or a Ned rig. Some people may know what a Ned rig is. Um, some people may not know what a Ned rig is. It's N-E-D-R-E-G or R-I-G. I'm stupid. But basically what it is is you take a, tr a, uh, a jig head and you put it through and it's basically like a jig worm. If you guys have ever used one of those uh, for walleye or smallmouth, you'll know what it is. But I mean, there's hundreds of videos on YouTube. I personally don't really use it that much. But uh, this worm here would be a good upsized version of that. So yeah, so enthusiastic fishermen, go on ahead down in the comments and tell me whatever colors you want of the four baits. Um, you can pick out of the four or out of the five. Um, in my opinion, I would probably, if you're going for more bass, um, more variety, more bass uh, lures, I would probably go with the little swim bait over this little flat runner. The little flat runner is better for like crappie and bluegill. But this little swim bait just catches everything, so you can't really go wrong with this. So, thank you guys for watching. Oh, I completely forgot. One more thing. Um, Sportsman 101, he uh, surprised me with something. Um, when he put his entry, he was going to put an entry into the, uh, the tournament, and it was actually, he weighed, it, he weighed the fish out there in the field, and it said like 3.7, and the fish was actually 2.7. I think that's what it was. It was either 2.7 or 2.4. And he wasn't able to actually take the lead. I really thank you for that, for being honest. So, Sports 101, you have a pack of whatever color, of whatever bait you want. Here are these, these packs, or these baits right here. The uh, five that I just showed. Whatever one of these baits that you want, let me know. Let me know your information. And Enthusiast Fisherman, you also let me know your information and you can send me, I'll put my email in the description. You can send me email on there. Or if you have a P.O. box, you can just leave it in the comments. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.